Hey Alex, it was June 29th, 2014, but it's now June 30th, 2014, because it's past midnight. Um, I didn't record anything today because there was nothing I would want recorded. Um, it was a really kind of crappy day, and uh... Uh, I didn't even want to go through it, so I don't think that you'd want to go through it with me. Um, I mean, not not on camera. Um, and it, like, wasn't okay to just whip it out, so I didn't, um... Yeah, I don't know how well you can see me. I'm the only thing, the only light is the porch light. I'm outside because I don't want to be inside. And, um... Yeah, I realized I didn't make a, like any sort of video thing today so um and i was going outside to watch the stars S or something just to get out of the house and um i thought i'd take you with me obviously you're not gonna be able to see the stars i can't even see the stars because it's gross and overcast so you can't really see anything but um that's okay <laughs> you uh you are there for the attempt. There are a lot of moths by the light. Can you see them? Mm, probably not. They're there though. They also remind me of you, like, more than anything. <coughs> and like, my mom absolutely hates them. I'm sure I've told you this before. I think I've actually told you this before in one of these videos, but my mom is terrified of them. So the other day she was trying, like swatting at one and I got so defensive and I was like, no, no, you can't kill it. You can't. There's one right there. Friend, this is in the door. On the top. But yeah. So, um, I'll probably just add up this into the next one tomorrow and um I'm actually gonna go inside because it's actually pretty cold out here but I don't wanna I think the door is shut so I don't think it's a problem I have this like weird irrational fear that I'm gonna wake everyone in the house up even though one my brother is still awake and two, the doors are closed because the air conditioners are on, but like, I don't want to... <sighs> I kind of want to get out of here, like, really bad. And, um, I wish <sighs> I could just go sometimes, and I feel... I guess, and I don't want to be, and I want to get out of this town and this house and everything. I just want to leave. <laughs> um, like, I, I don't want to. Like, I could. I have. Today was just terrible, it was really terrible, and there's a lot of yelling, and my anxiety is like way up, and I feel awful. And like being in the house is making me crazy, and obviously I can't just leave, so I'm outside of my porch, which isn't like that far away. But I'm too anxious to go out there, so I just stay here, and um, yeah, it's one of those nights I kind of just want to get in my car and drive. Um, and if I could drive to you, I would. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I'll probably go inside now and, uh, try to sleep or something. Um, I love you. Hey. So, 
um, I'm inside now. This is after the video before this, obviously. <laughs> you just watched it. Um, I am exhausted and tired. <sighs> and I feel like shit. I feel completely and utterly worthless again. And I'm tired of feeling like this. I'm tired of feeling like no matter what I do, I'm not going to be good enough. And I'm tired of feeling like a failure. And I'm tired of being afraid. And I'm tired of it. I'm just freaking tired. I'm so done with it. And um, like no matter how many times I say that to myself, I always end up feeling like this anyway. And it sucks and it's the worst and I'm... I don't want to, I like don't want to do it anymore, I honestly don't want to do it anymore, I don't want to be like this anymore, I don't want to be sitting on my bed just staring at the ceiling for hours and feeling like I'm never going to be even close to good enough and I have a feeling. sick of feeling like <laughs> it's shitty it's really shitty it's shitty and horrible and I know that it's not okay for me to feel like this because of the stuff that my dad says to me but I feel like that anyway all the, all the time I feel like that um, and like I got so much better at it but as soon as that happens I'm like back to square one and it, it I don't feel strong I don't feel brave. I don't feel like anything. I feel like I'm the worst excuse for a human being. And I don't want to feel like that. Like, I'm, I'm sick of feeling like that. And I'm sick of being afraid of failing more than anything else in the world. Because it doesn't even make any fucking sense. And none of this does. And... <sighs> I'm young. I am really young and I have time to figure my shit out and to do something with my life and I have time and I and I haven't even started. I haven't even like reached the start line so I don't know why I already feel like I'm dead last because I should I'm I'm not I'm not I try. Okay, like, I try. I try really hard. And I have always tried really hard. And I'm not perfect. And I'm not, like, the star daughter or whatever. Like, I, I, I'm not. But, like, I put effort into things. And I want so bad to do something. And, like, I don't understand why that's not enough. I don't understand and it doesn't make any sense to me and it, like it never has but I, I always rationalize it and I'm like well maybe <laughs> maybe it's just it's never him though it's always me it's always me like I'm not trying hard enough or I'm not doing something that I should be doing or I'm not acting the way I should be or I'm not I'm not, I'm not, oh, like, I don't, and if it's me, if it's me, 
then I can fix it and I can try harder and I can push myself more and I can get out there and do more things and whatever. I mean, to a certain extent, there are things I'm not going to be able to change that he's, he's, he doesn't, he wouldn't like about me and I mean, whatever, I can't, I can't, obviously, but um, some things I can control and that's what I'm always focusing on because if it's me, I can fix it and if it's him, I can't, I can't, I can't, there's nothing I can do and that's, I think I'm honestly less okay with that than I am like anything else because I honestly like I don't want to hate him. I don't I don't want to feel like this. I don't want to feel like it. I don't want to feel like I'm trapped in my own house. I don't want to feel like coming back here is like the worst thing in the world because I love my brother and I love my mom and I wish I could I don't know I don't I don't know anything I really don't know anything and uh, I don't I'm just start crying because I know I'm rambling, I don't know, I'm not making any sense, but that was kind of the point, because this is what's going through my head, like, all the time, every time this happens, I, I go through this process of, like, is it me, is it me, and can I fix it, and what can I do, and what am I not drawing hard enough in, and what am I not good enough at, and what am I not, what are my bad qualities, and what can I do to be more like you want? And what can I, what can I do, what can I say, like, always, um, and I rationalize it for him, I, I do all of this every time, and it's ridiculous, and I don't want to do it anymore, so I'm going to go to bed, and I'm not going to think about it. And I'm not gonna have nightmares, but I'm not gonna do this. I'm just not, I'm sick and, and tired of it. And I'm not, I don't wanna be trapped anymore. Like, I really don't, I don't wanna be trapped here. I don't wanna be trapped with this my entire life. I don't wanna spend my entire life feeling like I'm inadequate because it's not, it's not okay. It's not, it's not fun. I don't want to go through college killing myself over my coursework because I can do better and I don't, I mean I'm always going to try hard because I want it for me, but the extra stuff is just too much and I can't do it anymore, I can't, I just can't do it.